Well, Mark, Israel's not committing any war crimes at all. And, you know, uh, under international law, Israel has the right to defend itself. I think everybody agrees. I think everybody agrees that Israel has the right to eradicate Hamas. Hamas has embedded itself within a civilian population. Uh, I mean, this is a cynical and a horrible organization. I'm sure you recognize that. And uh, if you say that Israel can't defend itself, that they can't attack Hamas, then what you're really saying is that Israel has no right or ability to exist because if they don't eradicate but, but Hamas... But David, let me pause you for a second, then, because, because just to be clear... That, well, that, you're, that, you're interrupting that, me. No, yeah. no, no, you're misrepresenting my, my, my statement. I didn't say that Israel doesn't have a right to defend itself. The question is, does, is, is Israel committing war crimes? The right to defend oneself is not unlimited under international law. And so the question is, uh, outside of just saying we have the right to defend ourselves, is it a war crime? You said the international community agrees. The international community doesn't, in fact, uh, uh, agree. Uh, no, no, no. The, the, uh, the international community agrees that Israel has the right to attack Hamas. Okay, period. I don't think anybody disagrees with that. I don't think there's a single nation in the world. Yeah, that's Arab not in debate. That's what I'm saying. That, that's, 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 straw, that's, that's a straw man. No, right? no, no one is arguing that they don't have no, the no, right no, to respond. Mark, the question Mark, is, do Mark, they have, let's have a, is, is the, let's have a conversation. Yeah, I, I'm trying to. What I'm saying is, I, that's why I want to avoid the straw man. I don't want to take waste your time debating whether or not Israel has a right to defend itself. We agree that it has a right to defend itself against Hamas or to, to respond to this attack. That's not what's in dispute. The question is, are the, are the attacks proportionate? Are the attacks uh, su sufficiently discriminated, i.e. not attacking civilians when it's avoidable? Are they not attacking targets that are deemed untargetable by international law? These are the questions. Just to give you one example, and I'd love your response to this. So, the UN yeah. called Israel's bombing of the Jabalia refugee camp, quote, a brazen violation of international law and a war crime. So clearly the international community isn't in entire agreement with you here. Yeah, look, Mark, you know, I don't really care what the U.N. says. I mean, the U.N. has not been uh, fair about this issue for the last 50 years. Um, here, here is the reality. Under international law, Israel has a right to attack Hamas. Under international law, when you attack an enemy, when you would target an enemy to the extent that there is collateral damage what against law? civilians, it's not against... Mark, you're interrupting no, me. No, I'm asking... It's, it's a clarifying question. What law? law? What law? You said internet, What law? I said under interna under the international laws of war. What, interna I what, law what for international? Years. What international? Mark. I'm asking because I'm appealing to your expertise. What international rules of war say that you can attack Hamas in the way that they ha the Israeli state has? Which one? Everyone, every single law of war says. I, I, I need you. I need Mark, you to name one. Every, Mark, sir, you, you, sir, that's not an honest answer. Which one? Just saying, Mark, international law doesn't make it one. The international law is not a magic book. Which international law? There, there, there is there is a body of international law that deals with collateral damage. Israel is not targeting a single civilian. They're targeting Hamas. Wherever they identify Hamas, they attack Hamas. If Hamas is embedded with children, Israel will do everything it can to avoid those casualties. I but you said something else that I think is, is also interesting. You said that there's collateral damage in all war and that a body of international laws, which you still haven't named any, um, say that collateral damage is permissible within war. I agree that collateral damage is permissible within war. Again, that's not in dispute. What's in dispute is whether civilians can be deemed su sufficient uh, collateral damage or whether civilians can be uh, within the realm of, of the target if it's avoidable. Targeting a refugee camp, Jabali refugee camp, is not an example of targeting Hamas and there's just a few casualties. Targeting a refugee camp where there are children, targeting hospitals and mosques and churches are all all direct violations of international law, despite the fact that you keep saying that it isn't. And, and we can move on because I don't, I, I, again, I, there are lots of things I want to No, 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 let's not move on. No, let's not, let's not move on. Let's, let's, no, let's not move on. Fine. Let's stay right let's, there. Let's, 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 tell me, tell me which hospital, tell me which hospital that Israel has targeted. Tell me which one. You said Israel targets hospitals. The only hospital uh, that, that got targeted I, so far I, I, in this I, I, war I, 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 was targeted by Islamic Jihad. Okay. Okay? Don't tell me about... And, and by the well, way... Is that a question? It's, I'm it's, happy it's to answer it. Proven, it's I'm, been, happy, I'm happy to answer no, the question it's if been you're proven, asking It's been proven with certainty, it's been proven with certainty that the headquarters of Hamas is under the Al-Shifa hospital in Gaza City. Now, you know what happened a couple of days ago? Proven by Hamas. Oh, let's, let's, so let's, so let me, hold on. Mark, I'm not, I, are you going to let me finish? I, I, can't allow you to, I, finish. I cannot allow you to, name, to say 15 things that are unfactual and not be challenged on them. I'm happy to let you talk, but I, I'm going to ask clarifying questions. You're going to tell me it was factual? Mark, yes, I'm, no, Mark, I'm, I spent, I'm asking, I spent, I'm asking I spent a clarifying five years of my life studying this, living it. When was the last time, when was the last time you were in Gaza, Mark? Uh, when was the last time you were in Gaza? Uh, 18 months ago. When, when okay. was the last time you were in Gaza? Um... Uh, 
uh, a few a few years ago. Okay, so you said Al Shifa Hospital has been proven Hamas headquarters. What independent yes. uh, uh, reference? What source? What? investigation has proven that who has proven that it's an al shifa hospital since it's been a proven fact who proved it so now we're going to get into this basic like hollis cost denying idea that that evidence that israel has shown is not valid i mean is that what you're doing do no, you deny that no, people no, were no, raped no, in, no, in, no, no, that every, you, everybody, you everybody that challenges you is not doing holocaust denial you said that it's a hamas headquarter I simply asked you. I simply asked you for evidence of it. I said who, and you immediately equated it to Holocaust denial. Israel has presented evidence. Ask, like ask the CIA. Ask, ask, ask anybody ask who studies this. Ask the CIA, this. sir. Yeah. You don't trust. You don't trust the government. You don't trust the American government. You don't trust the Israeli government. Who should we trust? Hamas. You want to trust Hamas? Go ahead. Trust Hamas. Okay. The people. The people that destroy. That David, destroy lives. David, day and here's night. the point. Yeah, trust David, here's the, David. Here's the point. Under Article 8 of the Rome Statute and under Article 33 of the 1949 Geneva Convention, international mm -hmm. law forbids the targeting of civilians. Do you disagree with that? I don't disagree with that at all. Okay. Would you agree that targeting a refugee camp that has children in it and adults who are non-Hamas members, who are not actors in the military, would, 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 would constitute targeting a civilian? I completely disagree with that. Completely disagree. If, if, if Israel is if Israel is targeting Hamas in a refugee camp and it's and it's pinpointing its attacks on Hamas and there is collateral damage, there's collateral damage. That's war. That's called war. W A R. That's what it is. So, so here's the challenge, David. Israel argues that Hamas is everywhere in Gaza. That they're under every hospital. That they're in every university. Yep. That they're in every refugee camp. You agree with that, right? We can agree to that. No, Israel does not think they're everywhere. Israel thinks that they are where they are. And, and, and there are, those are in many, but not all, civilian locations. So the challenge is, by that logic, virtually every civilian location is vulnerable and viewed as a legitimate target. And so what happens is thousands of innocent people die. Again, when you bomb a refugee camp, there's no reason to believe that it's the only way that get at a Hamas target. When a hospital is bombed, there's no reason to believe that's the only way to do mm -hmm. this. And if you know that the quote-unquote collateral damage, you call it, is thousands of civilians,